really excited about SHAPE. Uh, SHAPE is an 18-month obesity prevention intervention, predominantly for African-American women ages 25 to 44. And African-American women in that age group have some of the highest rates of obesity nationally. And in the state of North Carolina, where obesity prevalence is already very elevated, African-American women have the highest rates of obesity. And during the years of between, during childbearing years, the ages 25 to 44, immediately prior to menopause, um, women experience the most, uh, the sort of the highest or the quickest rate of weight gain. And um, so the question for us is, you know, is it possible to stop the uh, weight gain during that age range? And if we can do that, if we can be successful in stopping uh, weight gain during that period of time, we stand the chance of preventing the transition from overweight to obesity. And if we can prevent the transition from overweight to obesity, um, then we may be able to offset some of the health consequences that are associated with obesity in that population. Um, we've noticed that there's a big gap in the 25 to 45 age range, um, the period of time when most people are undergoing many life transitions, sort of ending school, getting a first job, you know, in being involved in one's first job and, uh, and sort of transitioning through the workforce, having one's uh, initial, you know, first couple of children. And that, that period of time, given the amount of transition that women are experiencing, um, is fraught with lots of opportunities for weight gain. Um, it's a stressful time. You know, stress is associated with weight gain in those populations. It's a time of instability, both financially and, and otherwise. And so it's a, it's a time when, um, even though for many women, physical activity and eating habits are relatively um, well-defined, it's a time when transition can promote excess um, caloric intake and, and changes in physical activity patterns. So we think it's a good time to intervene. Every woman will take a survey when they come in for their first visit, and they'll answer certain questions about what uh, Dr. Bennett was talking about earlier, how many fruits and vegetables they eat every day, um, how much they exercise during the day, whether or not they drink sugary beverage, sugar-sweetened beverages, um, whether or not they eat fast food or fried food or sleep a certain number, all of certain behaviors that are related to um, gaining weight or losing weight. And then the survey that they take will compute based on this algorithm, kind of of how often they do a certain behavior and how much they believe they can change that behavior. Um, and it will prescribe them three behaviors to work on. So they'll have three shape goals that they need to work on. And it'll be potentially different for every woman. And then they'll answer an automated call every week that comes in that asks them how many days in the past week they've done a certain behavior. And then they also get a coach um, who is a registered dietitian on staff at the health center. Um, and they will call them once a month and they'll have kind of a live conversation with the patient um, about how they're doing, about how they believe they can change, about what's been going well and what's been going poorly about each of their behaviors. We're very excited to be in North Carolina and working with a population that is in great need of obesity interventions. And so we have partnered with, with Piedmont Health Services um, for several reasons, one, one of which is that um, we would like to do more work in this population going forward. Um, Low-income uh, individuals in the state are at particular risk for developing overweight and obesity and the health consequences that go along with those conditions. And so it's our hope that we can form a long-term partnership, starting with the SHAPE study, um, with the, with the longer-term goal of developing obesity interventions that are scalable and sustainable within the primary care setting. I think one of the biggest challenges facing us right now is that we, we don't have many of our evidence-based obesity intervention approaches, whether they're for weight loss or for obesity prevention. Those kinds of approaches have not really permeated the primary care setting in, um, in the way that many folks would imagine. Um, we really don't have the best of breed evidence-based programs in primary care right now, and there are lots of reasons for that. So one of the major aims of our research program is to develop approaches that are sustainable in the primary care setting. So we're working very closely with Piedmont Health Services on SHAPE and on several other projects with the eventual goal of developing approaches that work and that can be uh, implemented by Piedmont without our intervention.
Obesity is a global pandemic, and I think it's um, and, and and it's affecting uh, it's affecting the globe in ways that are unexpected, and in some ways that are expected, and others that are unexpected. Right now, um, we are seeing a transition as many uh, nations. Uh, develop uh, towards chronic disease endpoints in, in contrast to infectious disease. And, and obesity has a major role to play in, in, in that transition. Um, unfortunately, we haven't seen obesity interventions uh, really on the, on, at the global level yet. We have not seen obesity intervention approaches um, implemented widely in some of the countries where we're beginning to see uh, increased weight gain. And so we're very excited about the potential of some of the approaches that we've created here in North Carolina and the potential of leveraging them globally.